back to episode 3-2, if you will. This episode will be featuring the RPGs from episodes 1 and 2, starting first with Record of Augurist War for the Xbox 360. And this is the Record of Augurist War. And I shall start a new... Interesting. Well, that explains the Augurest part. <laughs> A tale of souls and swords that transcends all time. Sorry, wrong game. So the Lord of Darkness in this game is known as Summeril. A strangely cheery name for such a malicious character. <laughs> Here's the first actual gameplay. Actually, this is probably just scripted. It seems like you can't really do anything here. Yeah, it was scripted. Okay, we're doing some actual gameplay now. And it is indeed a strategy RPG. Okay, so I've got all my characters moved up now. So we'll end the move phase. Here we go. Action phase time. Okay, I got my target and my special move selected. Let's try this out. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? <laughs> and check out Blast with this guy. Oh, nice. It's got knockback. Sort of. How about a double edge here? Uh, enemies strike back. Mostly using double edge on me. Yay! I got grass! <laughs> and I think that's game. Yep. Rank A. Not too shabby. Yeah, all in all, it seems like a pretty decent strategy RPG. Not a bad pickup for the Xbox 360. I don't think I've seen this one before. Wow, nice. Not too shabby at all. Yay, more grass. <laughs> oh, I actually got a silver ore that time. Well, that's something a bit more substantial. And the world map. These guys in my party now. Now let's try some healing. Kind of started her in the middle of the bad guys, which was not cool. There's one of Borg Nines. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Broken knuckles. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is quite funny. <laughs> I love how the rock hops back over. So I figured out how these uh, chain combos work. This is pretty neat. Kind of reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Here's the town. This is like the first town that you get to. Kind of reminds me of Hagar from Final Fight. Hmm. 
Now we'll also go back and take a look at Record of Augurus War Zero. File screen looks very similar to the original game, and you can load your clear data from the original game, which is pretty cool. New game. This, on the other hand, reminds me more of Final Fantasy Tactics. Yep, it would seem this uses the exact same engine and everything from the first game. Not too surprising. Actually, one thing has been enhanced with these portrait cutscenes. Um, the portraits are animated now, and they have little features like blinking eyes. Here's the first battle. Actually, this is not exactly the same as the first one. There are some refinements. Like, for example, the cursor is 3D. Um, the selection uh, square has this cool rotating fire effect. The sprites look a bit more hand-drawn. There's this guy. Uh, they seem slightly better animated, too. Like, maybe they have a couple more frames of animation. So it seems like they did spruce this one up a little bit. Now let's check out some skills. Cool. Or try a sonic wave. I will say that I also really like how in this one you have a constant life bar over everyone's heads so you can see everyone's hit point. That's pretty cool. And how about a blast for this guy? It's game. But now you have to fight more. And now we're going to do a bit of healing. There we go. That's better. Let's try an extended area attack, I believe is the proper term for these. Yeah. Anyway, here's the party menu and world map. The world map seems a little more detailed on this one. Neat battle transition effect, too. It's Breath of Fire 3 for the PSP. And here's Into the Game a little ways. Here's a battle. I love the battle music in this game. Might be a little hard to film and play at the same time with PSP. Let's see if I can do it this way. Beautiful 2D sprites. 2D artwork in this game is pretty fantastic. Classic Capcom style. Zenny. <laughs> Capcom staple currency. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. And we got the Razor's Edge disc inside and a Club Nintendo code wire for Nintendo Land. Here we go with Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Here is the title screen. Kind of reminds me of a little of Okami with the scrolling elements in the background. All right, I unlocked something and I didn't even have to do anything. And Kasumi, nice. Lots of free stuff just for starting the game. <laughs> I am a true ninja warrior with real ultimate power.
Shinobi. Get to the chopper. Steven Seagal in Ninja Gaiden 3. <laughs> Call me Ishigami. Ministry of Defense. Actual surveillance footage. What do you need my help? We need you to die, Mr. Bond. Hayabusa, can you hear me? It's kind of crazy. There was a terrorist attack yes. at the beginning of this game. The hostages are in the Prime Minister. These are your ninja controls on the uh, Wii U gamepad. And then starting off, you have to glide down. in the ring. Oh, I'm sorry. You stop. Well, you can't say this game isn't bloody. <laughs> you also have a move list on here, which is a pretty cool idea for the, uh, for the Wii. You can scroll through and see all your different move combos, and there are a lot of them. Not too shabby. And that is the beginning of Ninja Gaiden 3 Racers. Pop this one in. Just a disc. Tales of Zillia. It's off with some options you can choose. It starts off with this animated intro. It seems pretty nicely done. And when you start the game, you can choose either Jude. Or Mila. Onward. She was the girl in the intro, so let's choose her. And here's some intro gameplay. She's acting really funny. She's not supposed to look that wide it out. Supposed to look more like that. Anyway. Why did I keep So let's put that on. First battle. Let's get the tutorial for now. Next. Your own business. <laughs> wow. She's a very matter of fact lady. Not bad, not bad. I think I'm gonna like this game. Those documents must be Here's for the registrar's office. Yeah, thanks student. for helping out. You sure you have time for this? Don't you have residency training with Professor House? Don't worry about that. You're in a rush too, aren't you? Shoot, you're right. Thanks again. You better get moving and too. Once again, here's Jude's gameplay. It's really weird. I can't figure out why all the characters are whited out. This has something to do with the tablet not liking the display on this particular television. Unfortunately, I'm running short on time at the moment, so I don't really have time to delve into the battle system with this character. But it seems like you get a chance to explore the medical school. Lots of storyline and characters to talk to, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'll definitely enjoy this game. 